Hi, my name is Lorenzo, and I'm an exercise physiologist here at the Center for Health and Wellness. And I'm Deanna Schweihart. I'm a registered dietitian. Today we're here to talk about childhood obesity. Obesity is defined as having excessive fat. This is what one pound of fat looks like and feels like in our body. Having extra fat can lead to increased disease risk. When we think about making changes to our dietary intake, we have to think of ways to reduce calories so we don't gain excessive fat. All extra calories will turn to fat in our diet. One of the most common places for extra calories is from sugary beverages. These drinks here, such as ginger ale or any type of soda, lemonade, iced tea, even 100% fruit juices, all contain in a 20 ounce bottle about 250 calories. An extra 250 calories a day, more than we need, could lead to an excess of two pounds of weight gain a month. For children, it's recommended when they come home from school to drink eight ounces of water. Most children come home from school dehydrated, and the number one thing people usually confuse is hunger for thirst. So always make sure your child is well hydrated before giving them a snack. Snack time, try to think of the different food groups to make the snack more healthy. Try to combine different food groups, a little bit of fruit with some nuts or some cheese, a nice yogurt with some granola. Try to come up with some healthy snacks for your child after school. When it comes to healthy plates, we usually say balance their meals. Half their plate should be salad or non-starchy vegetable. Their fist should be their portion of grains. And their palm should be their portion of protein. This is a pound of muscle. The only way we gain muscle is through physical activity. And research shows that after school, in addition to that glass of water, and in addition to the healthy snack, children should be physically active for 20 minutes to get the wiggles out. By doing this, they may be able to then sit down and do their homework and focus and get their homework done in less time. So we have Lorenzo here now to show you some wonderful exercise tips to help your family on their journey. Physical activity along with calorie limitation is one of the best ways to help with weight loss. I'm gonna show you just a few exercises that you can do um, and one of the best ways that you can work out is with your body. Um, one of the best little exercises is what we call our squats or sit to stands. For our sit to stands, again, it's just a fancy name for sitting and standing. We sit down and we stand all the way back up. All right, so with that, we're gonna try to recommend for eight to 10 repetitions. Uh, for those that are a little bit more advanced or don't have a whole lot of pain or issues, instead of using the chair, we can go right into our squats. So again, we're gonna try to bend, come down, and then stand all the way back up. The goal of this, of course, there, everybody, is to get nice and low without any eating. Another great exercise to do is our mountain climbers, which, of course, are going to be using a chair. So in this position, we get our hands down on our chair. We get into a little bit of a push-up position. We're holding it here, and we're basically going to get those knees to that chair or that surface. All right, same thing. We want to try to get to eight to ten repetitions. With our chair, of course, the higher the surface, the higher the hands, the more challenging. And for those that are a lot more advanced and can handle a little bit more intensity, you can definitely do them on the ground. Another great weight-bearing exercise that you are able to do are our side steps or side lunges. So standing where we are, we take a nice big step to the side and we can come together and then out to the other side. We recommend starting with these off nice and slow, and once we start to build up, we can try and move a little bit quicker and even add in a small hop. With physical activity, there are also a whole bunch of other types of things you can do, from walking, to running, to jogging, to hiking, and one fun way to do that is with your family. So I usually recommend going on some family walks, going on some family hikes, uh, even on family bike rides. If you can do things as a family or as a team, the better it'll help out with keeping you guys motivated. 